Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel today. My name is Ladia with Mimi Made It by Ladia. What a beautiful floral arrangement and this is a fresh floral arrangement that I have for you today. What I want to do is show you how you can create uh, an arrangement like this or one that is more suitable to you and the colors that you use on a budget. Uh, fresh bouquets. Oh, they smell so good. They just liven up the room. They just make everything just seem so much more beautiful. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, of course, you know, I always want to thank my subscribers for joining. Uh, Tanil, thank you so much for joining. Hello there in Cleveland. Um, it, it just really warms my heart when I see family and friends subscribing to my channel. So thank you so much. I certainly appreciate that. And for all of you that have stopped by my channel and returning, um, don't forget to subscribe, of course, share, hit the notification button, and as well, like my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let you know that I did a little bit of thrifting this weekend because I wanted to change the look in my dining room for my Easter floral arrangement for my table as well as for the other decorating that I like to do around my room. So did some real quick, uh, like I said, real quick um, um, thrifting at, at the Goodwill and I found two because of course I wanted them to be the same. Two glass vases. These are very, very, very heavy. $1.99 a piece. You really can't beat that for less than $5. The next thing that I did this weekend, and I wanted to really share this with you, is I contact, uh, I do have a local florist in my area, and I contact them to see if they have uh, stems, discount stems at the end of the week. A lot of them do. It, it'll just take a little bit of uh, homework on your end in terms of calling around and see which florists will actually offer stems as well as greenery at 50% off. Saves you a lot of money and you get beautiful, beautiful warehouse quality fresh florals. So what I did was uh, when I went to the florist this weekend, uh, one of the things that I love to pick up, very important, first thing that I look at when arranging my floral uh, arrangements is picking up greenery. Um, I like to have my arrangements to be very full and lush. So I like to pick up what's called, I believe it's lemon leaf, um, but because it really just fills up your base and prepares it for the other flowers and florals that you're gonna put in. Um, I also like to add different greeneries to my floral arrangements. So I picked this up as well, nice and long different leaves, has different colors on it. It's gonna give a lot more texture and some more dimension as well to your floral arrangement. And then this, I'm not sure what it's called, but I know I like it because it, it gives that nice bouncy feel to the arrangement once you put it in. It's a definitely a good filler greenery to add to your floral arrangement. Um, and I just love it. Just love the way that it looks within the floral arrangement. And then also, for my actual roses that I'm using, I picked up uh, a nice pretty pink, white, um, kind of a dusty rose. And I also picked up um, a very small, just bud, just one bud of a rose. And then I have what's called, I believe these are cabbage roses. They're absolutely gorgeous. I added, I wanted to add the yellow because I have a little bit of a yellow hint throughout some of my other um, floral arrangements that I have in my dining room. And I just wanted to kind of have this in there too. So first thing I want to get started with is adding greenery. Now um, I have already clipped the ends of this greenery just for the sake of time here, but go ahead and clip the bottom and then also take off as much of the green leaf as possible. Um, what you don't want to happen is to have that greenery, the leaves down in the water. What happens is it creates the bacteria and the bacteria gets into the flowers, uh, contaminates them. And before you know it, um, your floral arrangement of flowers are dying. So make sure you go ahead and just start adding your greenery all the way around. And like I said, just make sure that at the ends that you have clipped off and also pulled off any greenery so that it doesn't contaminate the water. So I'm just gonna keep adding and adding and adding. See how full that gets with this 
uh, lemon leaf. It's just a very beautiful, nice, strong um, greenery that a lot of the florists, if you if you notice, they, they use this quite a bit. And um, for that very reason, see how already it's nice and, and lush in there for you? Just waiting for your flowers and your other items that you want to add. So that is uh, one whole bunch of the, the lemon leaf greenery. I generally, generally like to get a bunch for each full arrangement that I'm making. Uh, if I'm only making one and I just really want it to be over the top, then I'll get two or three of them. Of course, that's going to take a much bigger vessel to hold it in. And maybe I'll do those one day when I'm just really feeling, you know, like I want to be over the top. I'll uh, show you how to do that one as well. Any pieces that you have that are small, just kind of hold on to those because we uh, generally don't throw anything away unless we have to um, when we're working with uh, greenery because you can always use it in other places. Even if you're uh, making a separate arrangement and you need some greenery, you can use small pieces for that. So, there we go. Now, the next thing that I like to do before I continue I kind of like to spruce up that greenery. This is uh, by Floralite and it's a leaf shine. You can use these on uh, real leaves. You can also use it on foal as well. So I'm just gonna spray just a little bit and give it that shine. Nice and shiny. Keeps it looking nice and clean and neat um, during the light of the arrangement. Now I'm adding some other, the other greenery that I have. Oh, got myself here. Pushing that down in there. And now I'm gonna add some of my uh, roses that I got. Now these roses, like I said, I got these stems at 50% off, a pretty good deal on roses. Uh, see how nice and big and, and fluffy they are. You usually um, don't, don't get those with the, uh, your local store floors, although in, in a pinch, they work. Uh, I have used them, but when I can uh, and I have time, I like to go to the floors, like I said, on their 50% off so that I can save money and um, get more for, for my buck. More bang for that buck that we all work so hard for. Going in here with the pink and just gonna put it right down in the middle. Now, generally, I would say, hey, make sure that you've got your flowers dispersed all the way around in your arrangement. But because of the way that I'm gonna put this in my dining room, I have uh, one on each side of my wall and they're gonna be facing, part of it is gonna be facing the front, you'll see it, but a good part of it is gonna be facing in the corner. So instead of putting them all around, I'm gonna give as much of the arrangement, all of the flowers to the front. Um, so that's my exception to that rule. So again, just kind of punching. Because once you get a lot of greenery down there, it gets a little difficult to get the spaces in there. And you get your items in there. So you want to kind of punch them down in there really, really good. Then I'm going to come in with these beautiful yellow uh, cabbage roses. And I can't wait till these open up because they just get nice and big and full. Um, one to come in with some yellow to kind of go in with some of the other yellow decorations that I have um, in my dining room. So I'm just going to stick those down in there, bunch them in there. And then I've got this one little rose that I've got as a bud. And I'm going to put that one right down in there. Got another little bit of greenery well, that I think I'll put right in there. And now I'm gonna come in with my nice, pretty, fluffy, don't know what I call it, or what they call it, but like I said, I like it. Put one of those on each side and see how it just kinda flares out a little bit, give it, give it that wispy look to it. And punch that one down on that side. And then, uh, the star of the show, other than the roses, I have a King Potia. Um, I will link this down in the description box. I think it's just very interesting, very different. It's gonna give you a floral arrangement, um, just a little bit more interest, uh, texture to it as well. 
So just kind of stuff that one down in there. There we go. Now I'm just going to turn them around a little bit because I want to face them more towards the front. You got to really roll up your sleeves sometimes on these floral arrangements to get the flowers in there just right, find them a spot. And there you go. I have all of my greenery, any small pieces that you have, just kind of tuck that down in the front. Uh, so you got one more long piece. Like I said, we generally don't throw anything away. We try to use as much of it as possible. And there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do next is spray, it's called Floor Light. It's also um, something I'm spraying directly on the flowers. It helps to coat them. Um, to keep them fresh and help them to last longer. Of course, you wanna change your water. Um, I would say at least every two days, change it, kind of trim the ends a little bit uh, of your roses or whatever flowers that you're using for your bouquet to keep the life. And then just kind of hit it a little bit with that solution as well to keep, um, keep your flowers nice and looking good. And as you go back and kind of look at your flowers, one thing that you'll start to see is if they start kind of turning a little bit at the end, just take the piece off and just keep going. Um, just take the pieces that don't look so well off and you'll still prolong the life and the look of your bouquet. So there we have it. I love it. It's just in there, just, you know, just doing its thing, you know, any kind of way that it wants, sort of. I like that look. I, um, so, um, there you have it. And if you'll stick with me for a few more moments, I wanna show you my bonus bouquet that I got out of all of the flowers that I got from the florist um, this week. So I'll be right back. Hey, thanks for hanging in there with me. This is what I wanted to share with you real quick. I had so much from the florist um, with the 50% off, I was able to make a very quick arrangement using uh, the King Potia as well as some other greenery. Just wrapped it around in there, put it in a tall glass container, didn't have to fill it all the way up. Don't have to worry about the bacteria um, getting in and destroying it. Again, still want to go in and change the water on this periodically, clip the ends as well. And uh, you know, for uh, $56, I have three different floral arrangements. Um, they're all beautiful. They are all warehouse quality flowers. And I just think it's just a good way to save money, bring beautiful florals into your home, um, beautify your home, the smell as well as the look. And I hope that this few months here will help to inspire you as you look to create uh, arrangements for your home. Um, come back, I'll have more as I go on with the channel. Again, like, subscribe, notify, and share. Thank you for joining me again, and as always, be blessed. Bye-bye.